Welcome, what's up guys, this is Pete, CrankSystems.com, and I hope you guys are doing good. It is post-Super Bowl Monday, and I hope you guys really enjoyed what you did yesterday. It is like a second Thanksgiving. I feel fantastic. Um, I got a lot of food in my system last night. I had some mini burgers, I had some social pepper sandwich, I had a cookie or three, I had some whipped up stuff, and you know what? I don't feel bad about it. I don't. I don't. I ate it. I felt disgusting because I was just so full. I did overindulge myself. And you know what? I did it. And I don't care. I don't feel bad about what I did. Yesterday was yesterday and today's today. So right now I'm warming up, getting ready to go, making this video before I start hitting my little workout on. And all I know is that now I'm properly fueled to do a great workout. And that's the way I'm going to look at it. I'm not going to look at it as, uh, I ate a hamburger at 10. I had french fries. I'm disgusting. I'm going to pinch myself everywhere. I'm going to take a poopies. I'm going to do this. Uh, speaking of that, I already took like three poopies. And I'm going to do this. Change it up. Change up the mindset. It's not the way it's going to be. My mindset's different. I got a super brain, people. And what's going to happen is I'm using that day. That day's gone. There's nothing. I can't do nothing. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Right? It felt great. For someone that really sticks to their, their, their program very well day by day throughout the week, I enjoyed that day. And I knew I was going to enjoy that day because I knew what was coming. Plus some because that stuff was delicious. So don't feel bad. Don't feel bad about it. Okay, I know a lot of you guys out there, listen, I deal with tons of eating disorder issues. And my step in my progress is for me just to accept yesterday was yesterday. Today is today. Totally different thing. And I actually feel better about it, knowing that I'm accepting the fact that I ate that much, and now I'm just using that to hit great numbers and great fuel and the best workout and the best day. Because I shouldn't feel tired. I should feel energetic because I have food in my system. I have food in my system. I'm loaded up. I'm carb loaded. Boom! Lat spread. Side chest. And that's what I'm going to do today. So I hope you guys do the same. All right? Think about it this way. Oh, and here's another challenge someone hit me up with. Guys, if you catch me curse on my video, please call me out. Because I have a 30-day challenge with the cranksters in here that say I can't curse for 30 days. And I said, you know what? I will take that challenge. And I will not curse in my videos for 30 days straight. I will not throw an F-bomber. I will not throw an S-bomb MF. Anything else that rhymes with that for 30 days straight. If I do, I will take $5 each time and throw it into the Sandy donation bucket that we have here for every time that I curse on video. I'm going to learn to control myself. I'm going to learn to rewire these, these, this brain with different words. And I'm not doing it because I, I do like cursing and I think it adds a lot of spunk into my videos, but at the same time, I'd also like my videos to be shown to kids. I'd like the, the younger demographic to understand and watch these videos too, but by me cursing, I usually, people usually can't show it, um, and I get a lot of feedback from that. They can't show it to their students, they can't show it to their thing, and then Google just <laughs> cuts me out all the time. So, it's going to start a whole new page, a whole new YouTube channel, which is the cleaner crisper version of what we're going to do here. I'm not going to say I'm not going to curse once in a while. I'm really going to do my best on that. And I'm going to do it. 30 days. What's up? Day one. No cursing challenge. Out. Pete. Post Super Bowl feast workout day. You guys take care. Get your workout in. I'll see you guys later. And get back on track. Can't take another words. That wrong with that.